This is Doombox, and I'm going to tell you all about vanquishing. How to vanquish fast and effectively, some tips on vanquishing, and some great builds for your heroes when vanquishing. Alright, first we'll start with the basics. I'll keep this part short since most people already know what vanquishing is. But, vanquishing is going into an explorable area in hard mode and killing everything. And doing that to every explorable area in the continent will get you the title. And doing all three continents will get you the title Legendary Vanquisher. So that's four titles for vanquishing altogether. Alright, so basically all you need is to have hard mode unlocked on the continent you want to vanquish. Look on your map for an area that has red vanquishing trim around it. That's a place you haven't vanquished and then when you finish it, it will turn gold. So you go outside and there's a little counter in the corner and the number goes up as you kill things. And you just keep going till everything in the area is dead and then you will vanquish the area. Alright, now I'm going to tell you about a hero setup that is amazing for vanquishing. I got my title with no problem using this hero build I'm about to tell you. Alright, the build I'm about to tell you, you may have heard of before. It involves three necros. You may have heard it been called Triple Necro Vanquish, Triple Necro Way, Triple Necro, Necro Way, Three Necro Way, Sab Way, Sab Way Vanquish, Three Necros. It's been called many things, but I, I just call it the Triple Necro Machine because it's just so amazing. It works like a machine. It's unstoppable. This build's been around for a while. It started somewhere on Guru, I think, and then I think it's on PVX Wiki. But basically, it just consists of three Necros, one SS, one Necro Rit Healer, and one Minion Bomber. This build has so many variations to it. People have changed it, added things, done stuff different from its original form from when it started long time ago. If you keep the overall SS Necro Healer Minion Bomber aspect to it, it will probably still work. I'll go ahead and real fast read the build I use. I'll, I change it around from the one on PVX, but you can pretty much do what you want. You can change it to how you like it. I'll I'll post a link to the in the description but I'll just go ahead and read what I use real fast okay the skills for the SS are spiteful spirit enfeebling blood barbs mark of pain defile defenses and venom enchantments splinter weapon and death pack signet you can replace death pack signet for another res if you don't like it Okay, for the Necro Rit Healer, they are Weapon of Remedy, Men Body and Soul, Spirit Light, Protective Woods, KOI, Life, Foul Feast, Signal of Lost Souls, and Death Pack Signet. Again, you can replace that for another res if you like. For the Minion Bomber, the skills are Jagged Bones, Animate Bone Minions, Death Nova, Blood of the Master, Putrid Vile, Protective Spirit, Aegis, and Signet of Lost Souls. Okay, here are the attributes. You may be thinking to yourself, why is this build so special? Why is the Necro a healer? My HP Monk is way better than this ugly old Elias. Well, there's a reason for all of them. The SS runs in, puts up all its hexes, puts up Splinter Weapon on the minions. The minions run in, deal damage through the hexes and Splinter Weapon, creating tons of AoE damage. The minions die, blow up through Death Nova, 
and then all the necros get all their energy back. Because of the minions dying and the monsters dying, all of them have un an unlimited amount of energy. That's how it works like a machine because the minion master keeps on making minions, the healer keeps on healing, the SS keeps on SSing. If the healer was a normal monk, it would spam a ton of heals and it would be out of energy, only able to get a heal off every 5 seconds or so, while the necro constantly is healing while spirit light and men body and soul give a very generous amount of health even for a secondary writ and they are very spammable and the minion bomber is so good at keeping up death nova and jagged bones and all the minions something a normal player wouldn't easily be able to do again this is just my version of the build you can change it to your liking Add in skills that you feel would be better for certain situations, do whatever you want. And if you want to look at the original build, again, look in the description. Okay, here are some additional tips for helping you vanquish effectively. While vanquishing, you can also be going for other titles. Make sure to scrape the map for your cartographer title when all the enemies are cleared. I was stupid the first time I went through. I forgot to scrape the map for Kantha and I had to go back and do it all over again. Not fun. Also, if you're in if you're in Factions Nightfall or the North, you can farm reputation points, Sunspear points, Lightbringer points, and Faction at the same time. Be sure to bring some DP removal with you, such as a Power Stone or Candy Canes. Pop-ups do not need to be killed, but once they're popped up, you must kill them. You don't have to kill pets. Although the three necros may be your best friends, it's a lot easier to go with a friend or a guild. For your first continent vanquishing, Cantha is probably your best bet because the maps are smaller, they're more square and even. It's easier. The only annoying part is the stupid city. It's so annoying to get around through there. Tyria is definitely the longest one. That's pretty much everything you need to know about vanquishing. I'm thinking about starting like a series thing with these little like guide videos. So let me know if you liked it, if you hated it, any suggestions you have, or if you have an idea for another episode you want me to do, let me know. Or you can PM me in game as Doombox.